Welcome back to Omni Garage. So today we've got a couple of Ryobi's line trimmers that um, we've been using for the past couple of years that we're going to compare and show you guys some of the pros and cons of. Yeah, I think there's some great differences between these two models. Yeah, so obviously starting at the price point. So yeah. this one here, this is the 18 volt uh, line trimmer. Now this isn't the brushless motor, so this retails for 129 New Zealand dollars. So this is the cheapest line trimmer in the uh, 18 volt range. Whereas this one is a brushless motor and it's a little bit more expensive, it's 269 NZ dollars. And you get both of these at Bunnings, so I suppose the reason why you pay extra money for this one is yes, it is brushless, but also there's a couple of other differences. I think starting from the basics, this machine feels better, doesn't it? I think it's the ergonomics as well, right? Look at the uh, look at the two together. This one is made purely of uh, plastic, and it's quite rattly, and there's a lot of movement in there, even when everything's tied in. This is way more stout. Yep. This is solid, this is a sort of a steel shaft here, whereas that's got more of a plastic head. You can take that part off on yours though, which I suppose if you were precious on space and you want to store that in a tight little cup cupboard or something like that, you could break that down. Yeah, so if we get a little bit closer into the tools, we'll show you some of the uh, key differences between the two, especially when it comes to the cutting. So the adjustability features on this model is pretty limited. All you can do is just change the side at which the handle was placed on. So you can either have it that side or that side and maybe a little bit of height but that's essentially all you can do there and that's just a little sort of screw mechanism at the bottom there. The other adjustable feature is the fact that this has got two settings so you've got a high and a low setting. Um, I suppose the low setting sort of spins roughly about 50% as fast as the high setting. I'm not totally sure about the RPM speeds there and you are going to get roughly half an hour runtime on a five hour five amp hour battery as opposed to that one there which has a few additional adjustability features. So you've got three different adjustable settings on this one here so obviously same with the handle you can loosen this up and you can twist it and have that handle coming out the side as well so they match each other in that respect. Then what you've got on here is a nifty feature it says trim here what you can do is you can pull this out turn it and all of a sudden you're in the edge cutting mode. So what that looks like in practice is you can be trimming here, you can come along to an edge, flip this, and you've got it in a fashion where you can use it to trim an edge. And when you're doing that as well, that's where the third adjustability comes in. You've got this button that you can press and you can actually tilt the machine. It's three different positions it can go into. So if you're edging, you can use this in a fashion like this. You can really quickly switch back to trimming and you're back in this mode. So this is a really good option if you want to use this as a multi-tool to do your edges, but also your line trimming. And battery runtime on this, it's about double the other machine under no load. So a five amp hour battery, you should get about 60 minutes of cutting time versus 30. So one of the biggest differences with these two different models is how the line is actually fed through the machine. So this is a sort of a bump fed machine. So, um, when you're doing your, your trimming here, if you smash that down on the ground, more line will come out and then um, it will then get cut to the right length to these two blades here. And then when it gets short again, hit it, more line will come out. Yeah, so difference to this machine here is obviously this one has just the one string versus the two. So you're obviously only getting, I guess, half of the cutting power on this one here. The feeding mechanism on here is a bit different. So what you've got to do is you've actually got to stop trimming push the button here, more line will come out, away you go again. Same thing, it'll cut it to the length required there, but then when that gets short again, you're gonna to have to stop, cut, I mean stop, feed more, cut it off. So I guess those are two differences, but this here is a cartridge. So you can buy these as like a three pack cartridge for roughly about 20 odd dollars. When that cartridge of line um, runs out, you just replace it with another cartridge. This here is a lot different. So you've got to undo this, this nut on here, I think that's one of the main differences that I found in using both of these machines. The ease of use for this smaller one to actually go and replace that cartridge, this takes two minutes. This one here is a bit more fiddly. This here is way fiddlier. So you can see here that this line has to be wound up through here and um, I'll unwind it and I'll, I'll show you why this is actually quite difficult to get on compared to that other one. So if you were going to replace this line you want two millimetres um, the two millimeters of line and you want a length of two meters and you feed it through one side here comes out the other side and then you want this length to be exactly the same so we've got that roughly the same length then we can put it on 
our machine here, feed it through one side there. And feed it through on this other side. And, and then you're going to need to coil it around, are you? Yeah, essentially by doing this you then set it up so that you can then basically wind it back up. So it just sits in there. And then as you wind it up, that line is just going right, feeding up around the um, those two rails that are inside there. So I think this has its pro and its con. I think it's harder to set this up. However, you've got a more stout string on this model. Obviously the two millimeter versus the 1.6 on the other one. Yeah. And you've obviously got two two pieces that are cutting, running in circular motion rather than the yeah, one on the Yeah, and you're sort of paying roughly sort of 10 to $20 for, I don't know, 10 odd meters worth of line, whereas you're paying sort of 20 odd dollars for a couple of cartridges or three cartridges. So the price point between the line is probably roughly the same. It's just the mechanism at which you can sort of, I suppose, easily change out that line is, is, is the real difference. I guess if you were, um, sort of had a bigger section to do, then you would probably want this type of model, and you're gonna to have to be prepared to um, have a bit of a fight with the line, whereas if you had a more of a smaller section, you'd probably wanna use that sort of cartridge set up there. Yes, yeah, so we'll show you what the cartridge looks like on this uh, smaller machine, for comparison's sake. So there we are, that's the line done up there. I haven't made it the right size, obviously, but when I swing this round, it'll chop it off to the right length anyway. And then we just screw the nut back on. And it's in the opposite direction to what you think you should be doing a cap on because obviously this spins around this way and so you want to do this up this way otherwise it will undo right so that kind of makes sense there you are so that's changing the line on the brushless model now i suppose you can show us how to change the line on your other model so here's the process to change it on the smaller machine so this is a lot easier than the other one essentially all you're doing is you are holding in these two two bits on the side here so you just clamp them both in and this pops out. Well, it's meant to be easy, It's eh? meant to be easy. There we go, so that just pops out. That cap, set that aside. And then this is a spool in here, so basically, you just pull this out. These come pre-wound already in little packets that you can buy from Ryobi. I believe they come in a, a two and a three pack. And essentially, all you're doing if you're replacing this, you would come like this. You'd unfeed a little bit of the line you would pop that through the hole here, feed that through, and then you're just sitting this, clicks in place nicely, you get your cap, line it back up, pop it on, and you're all set to go. And the way that you feed line from this here is you've got a little button on the side, and what you can do is just hold your line, press that button, and it feeds your line out. So it's kind of like an auto feed mechanism, whereas the other one's more of a bump feed type mechanism. It is. So again, I think this is for a smaller garden because um, obviously the other one, if you're cutting large areas, what you can do is you can be cutting and you can just bump it as you go to carry on. This one here, you have to take a break from your cutting, flip the machine up, hold on to it, feed some more line out and you're ready to go. So that's the difference between the two cartridges. And there's the bottom so of them. You'll be able to get a bit of a size comparison there as well as to what you're actually cutting. It's only 0.4 of a millimetre difference, but I think looking at it, it makes quite a difference, especially yeah. when you're actually cutting with that, because you've got two strings on here versus that one. And also the size of the deck, essentially. So the smaller model there, the one with the, the blue line, that's got a 303 millimetre cutting capacity. Well, size, path, whatever you want to call it. Whereas this bigger model here has got a um, 330 millimetre cutting path, so I guess you're going to get through a bit more grass with this bigger model here. I think what we can see there immediately is you're cutting through probably four or five times the area that yeah. I can with this one. Yeah. I mean, look at this. <laughs> You know, this is, is <laughs> this is great for weeds in the corner of your garden. That is definitely someone who has a small section and you're just cutting around a little path or around a few lemon trees and you're done. Yeah. This is for the bigger yard, absolutely. We're not dealing with grass lengths of a huge height here. Um, I mean, look, that, that's not, it's not much. This is struggling to get its way through, but watch this machine. <laughs> and 
And then I think where you're going to see that one come into its own even more is in a longer patch of grass. So let's move yeah. across, show what this is like in really thick brush. So we'll cut a little bit in here and just show you what this can do. So you're getting through it, but it's struggling. You're going to take you're, a long time. You're going to spend all day doing that, yeah. Yeah, if I was trying to get through an area like that, I mean, this weed here, I'm just thinking, we're almost stalling out on the power on there. It'd yeah. be interesting if you got a half speed on there and show how Let's you can see, Okay, this is, this is dropping it down a bit. That's probably a more fair comparison. Actually, so the half speed of this is probably identical to that kind I'd of. I'd say that'd be pretty close, except you still do have two strings that are cutting on there, yep. versus one on here. Yep. Yep. So you're probably still winning on this machine. So I think if you're dealing with an area like this, you've got really thick brush you're trying to cut through, I don't think there's any doubt about it, you want to go with this You machine. want to go with this one. So there you go, that's a comparison between the two Ryobi line trimmers. So I think there's some key differences between these machines. Obviously the price point's one, there's about $120 difference between them. Yep. I think you buy a whole lot more quality and features going for this model here. Oh absolutely, and, and I, I do get why you would choose this machine, you know, smaller yards, there's some nice features that you can change the machine up. Ryobi do do this in a bit of a package, so you could buy the cheaper machine, and I think you can also buy like a blower with yeah, it. Yeah, there's a blower package with so it. So that might suit different people depending on your needs, but the cutting difference between these two machines and how you change the line means that this machine is probably slightly a bit better. Yeah, it's night and day. I mean, this machine here, I've had this for the last five years on section sizes from 500 square meters all the way up to about 2,000. And, uh, you know, I've never felt like I'm missing out with this machine. I've never felt like it hasn't done the job right until I use this machine, cutting through some of the brush around this section here, which is about 1,000 squares. I mean, this is night This is and the day. machine you want. I've had this for four odd years. I've never had an issue with it, so... I mean, you can't go wrong with the reliability of these machines, but um, I think this is the one you want. Yeah, so look, if you're interested in any more Ryobi content, we have had experience with a whole range of Ryobi tools. Make sure you check out our playlist, but thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.